moves just fine tonight. And it's Travis Etienne looking for room on the right side, finding it. Etienne in the secondary. A foot race. They won't catch him, and the Tigers score on the opening play. 75 yards. Other than 50 getting that block, it's really just getting a hat on a hat. And then you're talking about maybe one of the most unique running backs in college football. When he gets a crease and he has room to be able to build up that acceleration. Third and 28. And the Tigers bring some pressure. And Pickett's again scrambling for his life. Hit. Ball comes out. It's Wilkins rumbling toward the end zone and knocked out inside the five. The it's just nothing Pitt can do to slow it down. Watch 11 eventually get him on the arm right there. That's what sent the ball up into the air. And then Wilkins, who is a tremendous athlete. It's ETN. Long touchdown to open the game. Short touchdown to make it 13-0. Aaron Hall breaks three, and he's into the secondary. And all of a sudden, Pittsburgh turned to muscle downfield. Back-to-back -back big gains. Both Panthers need five on third down. Olison hits a gap. And still running, bangs down inside the 20 as you get a glimpse of what these pit runners can do. And that, that's a nice job again. I want to go back to the offensive line because they're getting this defensive line. They're getting movement. Olison gets to the edge. Stiff arm against Simmons down the sidelines. Dives. Where will they mark him? Great game. Watch him come out here and try to make this play one-on-one. -on -one. Gets the stiff arm. There's the physical part of Olison, And then, it, boy, it looked like he may have stepped out of bounds there. But the receivers do a good job blocking downfield. 240-pound fullback in front of him. Dives airborne for the touchdown. Take another look at the aggressive pylon game. He didn't have the football now, but he appeared to break the plane. It's to be just like him, but he said his family has closure coming into this season, and that's been important. Sure was, and now ETN breaks free. As he again is sparking this Clemson offense, he's deep into Pittsburgh territory. His second huge run. Lawrence, end zone, caught. Touchdown, T. Higgins went up, got the ball. And they say, got the foot down. Let's make sure. On third and 10. In traffic, and it's going to be picked off by Terrell. Terrell looking for the sideline. And knocked out inside the 10. There is the first pick in half a season, and it's costly. Now the Tigers trying to add to the lead. Lawrence for the end zone, just like that. They make the Panthers pay. Higgins for the second time tonight. Confidence in battling the Irish right down to the end. Lawrence has a lot of room, and he shows his athletic ability. Dodges a tackler at six foot six. He can scoop, but he can also make guys miss. Running game against the Gamecocks last week. He wanted to go downfield, but then he's just going to run out of time and get swarmed. Great cover first time. Yep, great coverage downfield. That's what allowed Pitt to be able to get there. Final play of the third quarter. It's a flea flicker. And left to get downfield to a wide open Justin Ross, who's going to be stopped just short of the goal line. Trickery to end the third period. And they brought a corner blitz with Jackson. Did he get in there? Yes. No doubt that time. Choice does his job. And Clemson. Hall cuts it back. And in the clear. And in the Clemson territory. Well, that is a nice cut back. Good for a pass. Oh, uh, no. No, it's a miscue and a turnover. Or did he did, did he hold on? It's a, it's a it's a scrum at the bottom. First and goal. Straight ACC championships, four straight playoff appearances. Congratulations to the Clemson Tigers, and they're off to the playoff. They are matching Florida winning four straight SEC championships.